The great Scott bids thee welcome to my campsite on the banks of the Clear Fork Mohican River. What an invigorating area to enjoy a tasty cold beer. First off, thanks to Larry from Florida, who sent an article from the Tallahassee Democrat newspaper written by Danny Aller, TLH Beer Society, it says, next to his name, letting me know that the Lake Tribe Brewery has begun canning some of their beer. Until now, Lake Tribe beer was only available in kegs. Well, good luck to everyone at Lake Tribe on your canning business. Now, before I get into this episode's feature beer, a little earlier, I was uh, walking along the banks of the river, and I wandered over to a clump of trees to take care of business, and guess what I found? A golf ball and empty water bottle. No big deal to you. I get that, but it reminded me of the time I was at the U.S. Open Golf Tournament and I was walking the course watching the players during a practice round. I wasn't particularly following any player. I'd just watch a green for 20 or 30 minutes and move on to another one. Well, on a green comes a trio of golfers and Tiger Woods was one of those golfers. So Tiger comes off the green, finishes off his bottle of water and chucks the empty bottle into a trash can about two feet away from me. Now, you would have thought he had thrown a bag of money in there the way a dozen or so people are fighting each other to dig out that plastic bottle. I mean, fighting in a trash can. It looked like one youngster was pulling the bottle out when someone took a swipe at the bottle but hit the kid's arm, and the bottle went flying about six feet behind him, and it landed right in the hands of a woman. Now, that lady may have been pushing 70, maybe 75, but she was waving that bottle at all those other uh, treasure hunters and was saying, look what I got, look what I've got here, look what I've got, you know, things like that. Well, these kids and other folks sheepishly move on, and I went over to the woman and told her how disappointed I was in her behavior. You know, I said, you're the one person here who could have acted in a mature manner, and maybe one or more of these people that were digging for that bottle might have learned a valuable lesson when it comes to good sportsmanship, humility, and a certain grace that comes with age. I'm very disappointed in you. Well, she must have taken my words to heart, because some tears welled up in her eyes, and she pulled a hanky from her pocket and was dabbing her eyes dry. And in that moment, as she dried her tears, I snatched that plastic bottle out of her hand and took off running like a red-ass tape. Well, enough golf talk. It's time to talk beer. Today's featured beer is Java Stout from the Santa Fe Brewing Company. And according to the brewery, this Java Stout uses extra generous quantities of barley malt, followed by vigorous fermentation, leaving this imperial heavy weight with 8% alcohol by volume and a body as full as chocolate bread pudding. Santa Fe Brewing uses only top quality ingredients like organic East Timor and New Guinea coffee beans locally raised by Ohori's Coffee House. Its heavenly flavor and aroma can't be beat or imitated. This Imperial Java Stout is black in color, has a very full body, and it has uh, two row roast Munich chocolate and crystal malts. Its hops are Bravo and Fugel. Also, this uh, stout, this uh, coffee-infused stout, pairs well with chicken mole, whatever that is, French toast, tiramisu, vanilla bean ice cream, tangy cheeses like English cheddar or a creamy gorgonzola. Blah, blah, blah. There's only one way to find out if the Java Stout is worth your purchasing. Let's snap one open. Wow. A very strong coffee smell. Well, here we go. Down the hatch. Ooh, that is a strong coffee taste, no doubt about it. If you ever drink chicory coffee, it's got a little uh, taste like that. Stout and heavy, but drinkable. And stout and heavy is my tribal name, by the way. Now, I'm not real sure I'd want to drink more than two of these at one setting, because then I might be falling. Now, if you like or love a stout, coffee-infused, heavy, dark beer, Java Stout is for you. Also, if your putting is experiencing the yips during your rounds of golf, a Java Stout before your tee-off might be the nerve-steadying solution to your problems. Now, I just hope that ferreting golfer guy doesn't steal my advice and dispense it as his own. 
Well, I leave you with words of wisdom from the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, who said, I am a firm believer in the people. If given the truth, they can be depended upon to meet any national crisis. The great point is to bring them the real facts and beer. Hey, I'll drink to that, you old rail splitter. Well, cheers and thanks for listening to The Great Scott Drinks Beer. Oh,